Today, we'll give an overview of the TOEFL reading section after the changes on July 26, 2023. Before the enhancements in July, there were three to four passages in the reading section. Now, you'll get two passages with 10 questions per passage. Also, in the previous version, you had 54 minutes for three passages or 72 minutes for four passages, depending on if you got a randomly placed dummy passage or not. Now, you'll have 35 minutes to read two passages and answer 20 questions. Note that the amount of time you have for one passage is the same, 18 minutes. Each passage is around 700 words and comes from real textbooks, course materials, and published articles. TOEFL uses diverse university-level readings that introduce a discipline or topic to measure how well you can read academic materials. Common topics are social sciences, professional disciplines, hard sciences, and humanities, including psychology, chemistry, geology, art history, literature, and philosophy. Reading questions are classified into these 10 types. Note that fill-in-the-table questions are worth either two or three points. If the question has five correct answers, it is worth three points, and if it has four correct answers, then it is worth two points. Also, summary questions are worth two points. All other question types are worth one point each. This means that you can get a maximum of 22 points on the reading section. Your points are then converted into a score on a scale of 0 to 30, and that would be your official reading section score. We talk about each of these question types in our lectures, so you can check out our other videos if you want to find out how to strategically approach these questions. When reading, focus on understanding the main points and structure, rather than spending too much time trying to understand the details. If you come across an unfamiliar concept or vocabulary word, try your best to understand the context and move on. Because you have to divide your time between the passages, pace yourself so that you are spending 18 minutes or less per passage. If you encounter a question that you're struggling to answer, move on and come back to it later. If, in the end, you still have unanswered questions but don't have enough time to properly answer them all, just make a guess. Remember that you do not get penalized for wrong answers, so it is better to just make a guess than to leave any questions blank. Build a habit of reading a few pages a day. Pick up a book or news article that discusses an academic topic. After reading a few paragraphs, practice summarizing their structure to build your reading comprehension skills over time. Some difficult words may have definitions provided. If not, pay attention to context clues to infer the meaning. If you don't know the answer to a question, make a guess. Do not leave any questions blank. In order to see the first question, you have to scroll all the way down in the passage. You can skip questions and return to them later, so don't spend too much time on questions that you are having trouble with. Don't use your background knowledge to solve questions. Even if a familiar topic comes up, remember that you have to answer using the information given in the passage. That's all for our TOEFL reading section overview. For more lectures on specific question types, please see our other videos. Thank you.